Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where this guy is a problem. He is currently looking to start a civil war. He wasn't before I restarted the game between episodes, but now he is. And we need to deal with him. So first things first, we're going to try to make friends with him. That's the first mission here. And apparently that caused the civil war to go away on its own. So I guess that's fine. He's still disloyal and he's still going to be doing his own thing. Now these guys up here, they are building roads through this area. And that seems fine. And I'm just going to let them continue to work on that for the moment. Now our aggressive expansion is still up there. And we're working on bringing our stability back up. We're definitely not going to look to expand this episode. And I think spending gold is the way to go here. There we go. That seems wonderful. So we're going to work on that. We'll publicly... Actually, we were going to make a statue in his honor is what that was. So that seems wonderful. Now, we are going to have some gold flowing in. We're not going to be planning on going to war this episode, most likely. Only a tiger is sure to win him over. Indeed. So, by the end of this episode, hopefully we'll be somewhere around 10-ish aggressive expansion. And when's our truce up with Gera? They're currently at war, and who are they at war with? Okay, that's a very small faction. Noted. So that's not a big deal. And then what I want to know is when is our truce up with them? That is going to be in about a year and a half. Okay, that seems reasonable. So we can go after them again and vassalize them and use them as a buffer state against this out over here. So that seems fine for now. Macedon took a bunch of territory from Armenia up here. That's noted. We're probably going to need to do that ourselves. We're going to need to take this back from Macedon. So that's fine. I'm not too concerned about it. A gladiator? Yes. Um, definitely. Buy him and gift him to Yehuda. That'll be fine. That does cause just a little political influence, but we need to get this guy under control. He is absolutely a problem. Soldiers denied honors and doubted commander is a big part of it, but that's stuff that he did, right? So we did become friends with him, and what does that put him at for loyalty? 42. So he is now loyal. Fantastic. So I want him to make his way out to here. There we go. Now he's going to start actually doing this. Perfect. So these guys are going to keep building here for a little bit, but they're going to be done fairly soon. I'm just thinking about how I want this to be structured. I think these guys are going to have to come back down over this way. Uh, I just canceled their movement up over here. That's my own fault. We need to make sure that that's there and a connection here looks good. And then we would just bring them back over this way like so. So then they'd connect there, make sure that there's a connection here, and then they would come down and do what the original guy down here was supposed to do, but he didn't do. So we would do something like that, and then make sure that this is all connected up like so. Make sure that we have a connection up over this way. This is not connected currently. So we'd make sure that that happens, and then we'd head out to Gersu, and then that would be it for now down over here. So we'd make sure that this gets all roaded up for now. And then these guys, once they arrive over here, we'll put them back on road build and we'll have them build down over this way, build up here, build a connection here probably, and come down here and then build up anything that needs to be built up here. And that would be all the road construction that we should need for now, since we can't really get to central Omana or Dur very easily. Now, of course, our navy is going to be getting out of here very, very slowly. It will eventually happen. But I think that our next target is definitely, I want to vassalize Gera for sure. That is 100% something that I want. I want to take their territory that's down here, ideally. And then I want to vassalize like this segment of them. And then there's Cyrocene up here, which we're probably going to want to do something fairly similar with to try to contain everything out over here. So that seems fine. Ah, these guys are in position. So let's go ahead and have them build road, and they're going to come down like so. 
Then they're going to come up here. I think a connection here does make sense. And they're going to come out over this way. A connection here also makes sense. And then they're going to come down this direction for now. And make sure that there's a connection like that. Then this is in Gera, so we're going to need to come up this direction to Sumra, and then head up here. There is a road down here somewhat, but we can come down like that, and then come back up this direction, right? And then head up here, and then back, and then just come out like this. And then we're going to need some form of connection out here. So I'm thinking here, like that. And then we come back, and I guess that's going to come back this way. That's okay. We can have this come out over here like this. And then down this direction, we can have it go from, like, Arzuin, Lashom, which would connect in over here as well. And then Lahir, which would connect in here, and also here, and also here, and also here. And kind of like that. So that'll take them a little bit to get that all done, but that should get that road construction completed. Assuming that both of these remain loyal. Which, they're decent, so that seems okay. So these guys are going to be done first. That is absolutely expected. No shockers whatsoever there. And we do have about 3,000 gold to spend. That is not surprising. Now, I did write a note to myself to remember to get the newly developed cities down here working, right? So that is, let's see here, what cities were they? I didn't actually note down what they were. It was the ones building forges, but I think they finished their forges. So we have a city here. That's definitely one of them. And then there's Kama down here, which is done. Jarosh was one of them. And this was one of them. Okay, so that's the three cities that we had just developed. Sounds good. So we can definitely get mills going here. And then we can get slave traders and taverns and then put in a forum. So that's Marnavalis done. Next up would be Jirash. And this we did not even put a foundry in, apparently. So that's definitely noted. Let's get three mills going here and then three slave traders and then three taverns. And that'll be it for now. And then this is ready to go. So all we would need to do at this point is this here. Ooh, lightning striking the temple. That's a lot of gold. I don't want to lose that. We're going to get the gold and Isaropolis is going to lose a great temple. So we just got like 2,000 gold, and where was this? Isaropolis. Uh, I have no idea. Was that here? That's Hieropolis. You know, I don't know where this is. It's definitely around here somewhere where there was a great temple. We lost a great temple, and that is unfortunate. Hmm. I might have... You know what? I'm going to check the recording and see what the name of that location was. I will be right back. Okay, I checked the recording, and yes, it is Komana Hieropolis in the territory of Isaropolis. So, yes, it is here. There was a great temple here. It is gone. Honestly, we're pretty okay, though, on our religion. We don't have the loyalty to build anything here, so we're not going to worry about it for right now. But that did get us a bunch of gold that we can, of course, spend right out over here on mills and slave traders and taverns. Excellent. So there's all of that good to go. Now, have we developed this city? The answer is no, but we did just get a religious advance. So let's grab... At this point, Manganel. Beautiful. There we go. And I do want to develop this city. It produces incense at this moment. And, I mean, we're still capped at 225. So we... No, not academies. We don't need research at this point. Although this would be a decent research city producing incense. But for now, we're going to get the foundry and the mills and slave trader and taverns and then forums. And we can even put in a Freeman district. 14 building slots there is kind of a lot. There's three cities here that have not been developed. Okay, 
I'm going to put in a foundry here. We don't really have the money to put in too much else down over this way right now. Okay. This guy is not the leader of our army. Right. Let's check in on how our road construction is going while we're waiting for money to come in. And these guys are going to be done eventually. So that sounds good. And these guys, they're... Well, these are going to be done fairly soon, actually. There's not that much else to build here. Yeah, we did build into Gursu. So that sounds good. So they're going to be done down here quite soon. These guys, they're going to be building for a lot longer. That's okay. I'm really not too concerned about it. So let's pop back down to Sanaa down here. And I would love to get some additional mills going. We'll get three mills. And I'm not really in a rush to get this queued up because we don't have that much money on hand right now. But we can definitely get a few buildings put in. Waiting for the month pick here. There we go. And now we can put in taverns. Taverns are cheap. Now we can wait for the month tick. Oh, we're full here. Never mind. So this would be the next location to develop. And we would definitely put in a foundry here. This so that would be delightful to put in. 284 gold. I think I'm going to wait for one more month tick here. We don't really, strictly speaking, need it, but I just want the safety of not having to reissue these construction orders. So that would be good. We would definitely not want to reissue the construction orders if we could at all help it. So back down in Raida, we are going to get this going now, now that we've gotten the month tick. And apparently there's a civil war brewing. Who's angry? The leader of the Kane family, this guy. He is near death. Does he already have free hands? No, he doesn't have an office. Okay, I'm just going to bribe him. It's fine. Okay, next up, of course, we get a maritime tradition. Ooh, okay. The blood of Egypt. Perfect. So we'll take that. That is excellent. We only have these three left, so that sounds great. I want to check in no colonizable territories at this moment. Okay, let's get our three mills built in Raida. And then we can get some slave traders going here, but I'm only going to queue up one for the moment. Okay, we're waiting on additional gold coming in here, which we have now. We'll get the next ones going, and we can't quite afford to get our taverns until the next month tick. But we'll definitely get them on the next month tick. So let's just wait for that. And we have 12 building slots here. These are fairly large cities down this way, despite having no buildings in them. Remarkable. Okay, so we can definitely get these caverns at this point. Then we're going to need two forums, which is going to be 280 gold. We should be able to get both of those on this next tick. So right now. There we go. So that looks good. Now we've got a city out over here. This is an awkward setup, for sure. Yeah. We produce incense here. Maybe we should make this be... Oh, we, we need a governor for Upper Egypt. Sure. We're going to have a rebellion fairly soon as well. Apparently not with this governor in there, though. Okay, noted. So... There's an argument to be made that we should maybe make a research city here. And the argument is that we don't know how overcapped we are. I'm not sure how this is calculated. With an output of 24,149 per year and 7,693 integrated culture pops. Is that a simple division? Hang on. 24,149 divided by 7,693 integrated culture pops. Which, keep in mind, about half of our pops are integrated, right? So that gives us 3.14 approximately. We're approximately pi ratio right now. So that means if all of our pops were integrated, then we would not be at a 225% ratio, if I'm understanding how this is calculated correctly. I believe it's a division. So, 
let's take our overall population. Right? And so that would be, if we go in here, our overall population is 17,916. We're only about 40% integrated or so. If we were fully integrated, 24,149 divided by 17,916, assuming no population growth in that time, which is a bad assumption, we would be at 1.35 for our ratio. So I think that there is definitely an argument to be made that we should have some research cities down this way as they get integrated. Maybe not very many, but some. So to that end, I'm going to make this one into a research city. It does produce incense, so that seems reasonably fine. We can put in some noble districts here. And we can remove the shrines, but I'm going to wait to do that. The other structures that are here are fine. So let's just wait for a, a an income tick. Giving that a moment here. There we go. And we'll build a pair of noble districts. That seems fine. We have a zeal perk available. And we could gain five stability. Yes, please. That is very good. Keep in mind our production of research is also influenced by our stability. So that is another confounding factor to that calculation that we just performed. So that's definitely a thing that we need to keep in mind. Another citizen district here would be good. I'm just waiting for the month tick. There it is. And then with those districts, we could definitely put in the courts of law next. We need two of those. So we can put in one. And we'll wait for the month tick for the second one. So this is going to produce some amount of research, for sure. And we're going to put in academies next. So we'll need three of those, and we can actually keep around these shrines if we wanted to, but we are high enough up that I don't think we need to have that. I'm just waiting for the month tick here. There we go. We'll get all three of these academies queued up. And then we can start getting rid of these shrines and putting in tax off or not tax offices, libraries. But we'll wait for the month tick for that. Okay, so there's one noble district finishing up over there already. There's the month tick. We'll get that library going, and we're going to remove the two shrines and put in two libraries. Okay, so I want to check up over here. These guys are idle. We're going to move them back over here for now because we want to get them drilling. So they're no longer constructing roads. All of this area is actually... Hang on. There's a road here, but there isn't one here. So I want them to do that. Okay. They're still on road build, and so they're still costing us increased amounts of in increased amounts of maintenance. So that is absolutely understood. Our ruler got cancer. That is unfortunate. Okay, so let's get this crossing built, and let's get these guys off of road build and on to drill, which will save us money on a monthly basis. Okay, so off of road build, on to drill. Perfect. How are we doing up here? These guys have a long ways to go, which isn't shocking. Okay, so back down over here. What are we producing in... That's a lot of things. Okay. Ah, Upper Egypt is integrated. Sure. Everyone is welcome. Fantastic. So Upper Egypt is under our control now. We can come up over here and remove the fortresses that are here, which we're going to do. We do not need a level five fort there. That's absolutely not going to be a thing. There's a couple of cities here that are going to need development. In fact, there's a lot of cities over in Africa over here that need development. But I'm just going to leave this be for right now. I do want to see if we need any farming settlements. We need three. Okay, we'll get those going. So that seems fine. Now, down in this city, we produce wood. Okay, this is not going to be a research city, that's for sure. I don't think we need very many research cities in these areas that are being developed right now. I think some are probably okay. Maybe like a five to one ratio or something like that. Something approximately along those lines. As more and more pops become integrated, 
we're going to see that ratio dropping, right? So that is definitely something that we need to keep as high as possible. It's currently capped, and it's significantly over-capped, but if we were to integrate a fair number of populace, then that would drop below cap. So that is something we need to remember going forward here. So, down in this city, of course, I'm very interested in getting a couple of mills going here, and we'll get some slave traders. We're down to 56 gold. That's enough. So I'm not too concerned about that. We'll get our three taverns on this next month tick. We don't quite have enough to get our forum here, but we'll have that very soon. So that sounds good. This is, a, is this a city? This is a city. Okay, noted. Untiring devotion. Cool. Three free stability. We like it. So we're down to 17.71 aggressive expansion at this time. And that's absolutely wonderful. What else do we have for cities down here? Well, we've got this one, Adan, and this produces incense. So we could make the argument that this should be a research city as well. I mean, we haven't built any research cities other than this one in quite a long time. So I think maybe we should build at least a few in some of these locations where we produce incense. I think it's fine. So we currently have a port here, and we don't really need one. I'm going to get rid of that, and we're going to start putting in some noble districts. So we're going to get three of those queued up, and we're going to get some citizen districts in here as well. So we're just going to need a little bit more gold to get all of these cities developed, right? And they'll continue to need more work. So we're going to have to go through on another pass eventually. But I would like to get more and more of these cities properly developed. Because imagine, we're as powerful as we are right now. Imagine how powerful we'll be once we get all this built. It's going to be nuts. Absolutely insane. And we're waiting on our aggressive expansion to drop anyway. So we might as well do it. We do need some courts of law here, so we're going to put in one of those. We can't afford the other two just yet, but we should be able to as soon as this month tick comes through. So that seems great. We've got a lot of constructions ongoing, and this is going to generally improve our situation significantly. We missed this city. Okay. I don't know how I missed it. I just didn't see it, I guess. Well, we should definitely get that going. This produces leather, so this should certainly be a slave city. We're going to get a foundry in there. And let's get this city done. We can come back to Adon out over here soon enough. Okay, so we want to get these mills in. We can build two right now. That seems fine. And on this year tick, we'll be able to get our third. There we go. Excellent. And we can even put in a slave trader here. So we can come back to that once we have a little bit more gold. I want to check in on how we're doing on this road construction. It's very close to done. So that looks great. Hey, we've managed to arrive back with our navy already. I say already. It's taken a trillion years, but that's fine. <laughs> so we do need to grab the slave traders that are here. I'm going to build one, but we're going to wait for the month tick to get the other. Yeah, that's why right there. That road construction tick going through. Perfect. Now we can get this slave trader. And, of course, our taverns. We should be able to get all of the taverns right now. And then we just need money for a forum. And then this city is complete for now. Until such a time as its civilization value rises. Or gets more population. Okay. So let's put in our forum here. And then we have low food supply out over here. On Crete? Interesting. Why are we having low food supply on Crete? It's growing. It's growing. So it should be fine here. We've also got an open import slot. So I have no concerns about Crete. So back down at this new research city that we're putting in, we are absolutely going to want to put in a pair of courts of law. That will happen on this month. Okay. Also, how are we doing on our integrations? Have we finished all of our integrations now? It looks like we have. So that is very good to know. Let's get these courts of law in. And then next, we're going to need three academies. And those are going to be fairly expensive. I want to check up over here. Yes, this was integrated. A 
apparently a while ago, because this is definitely a city that I set up. Okay. That's good to know. The destruction of Grum, huh? So this is out over here. Right. This is not in our territory. But Hish is. Okay. I'm just looking at how much road build is left here. We will help those in Grum. Okay. We are now in debt, which means that these guys are going to stop road building, and these guys are going to stop drilling. We also lost our leader here. Okay, there's a scorned family, so that is noted. A leader for the first navy could be this guy. There's still a scorned family, the Yen Yeid family. That's okay. And we're going to need to hop in here and get another commander. So I want a quality commander. That's going to be this guy. And he's going to be in charge here. Okay. So we're definitely short on gold. Let's see if we get any bad events. We'll come out of this debt quite soon, though, in like four months. So I'm not too concerned about that. Desperate measures. Okay. Um, losing five stability isn't too bad. As far as events go, that could have been worse. So we're going to get these guys back on road build, and they're going to be doing that, which was what they were ordered to do previously. These guys are going to go back to drill. There we go. And now I want to come down to Adan, and we can grab our three academies. We can also put in a library here, and that'll be fine. So this city is now good to go, and we can continue filling in cities that are up this way, right? So we produce hemp here. That's going to be good for slaves. So this is definitely someplace that we'd want to build a foundry. And we could certainly do that. I'm going to hold off on it for the moment because we need a new rope. And that'll actually be this guy. He's a member of that Scorn family. Three out of four, so they need another job. As do the Zadoki at this point. Okay. That's noted. Okay. That is definitely noted. So let's get ourselves a foundry here. And then we're going to get a trio of mills as usual we'll get the other two after this month tick i think we'll have enough to get both uh no we won't not if we want to maintain road build do we need to maintain road build though these guys are done so this is fine they can exit that and we can take them somewhere where they ideally wouldn't take attrition well this is ridiculous <laughs> amas can cover these costs okay so where are they not going to take attrition? Probably some sort of a fairly large city back over here. That makes sense. Exit road build, please. There we go. So that looks good. Ah, okay. We have a succession crisis. The co-ruler is dead. Okay. We have a new co-ruler and a uh, new ruler, I think. Or maybe the co-ruler immediately died. I don't know. What's our setup here? Okay. Seems fine. Pretender placated. Perfect. So he is no longer attempting to be a pretender. 37 loyalty and 58 loyalty. So this guy is going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to work on making friends with him. That seems reasonably good. We are down to 13 aggressive expansion at this point. Our stability is very, very low, though. So boosting our stability would be very good, and I'm going to do that. We're going to do a divine sacrifice, and we're going to work on boosting up our stability. With our stability this low, our research efficiency is still solid, which we would expect based on the calculation that we just did. Oh, six stability for 10 political influence? Yes, please. That's phenomenal. Okay, let's get three slave traders here, as well as three taverns. And then we're just going to need to put in a forum here. And we're going to commission a sculpture in this guy's honor as well. Beautiful. So that all looks good. We've gotten good development on our cities out over here. I'm very pleased with that so far. And we can see they're going to be building up their civilization value for a while. Okay, so this is an incense city here. 
So this is one of those situations where we can make the argument that this should be a research city. And I think I'm going to make it be a research city. We're overcapped right now, but when we get these areas more assimilated, that won't be the case. So we're definitely going to need to produce more research. Okay, let's get three noble districts in here. We're going to get rid of this commercial district. And we're going to get rid of this forum as well. We're going to need citizen districts here, of course. Starving Pops up over in Crete again. Losing a thousand gold due to a small onion harvest. Okay. We'll secure a supply from abroad. That puts us in debt, of course. We did become friends with that guy, so that's good. And we're gaining food here. Desperate measures again? That's not ideal, but it does pull us out of debt. Nothing we can do about it. We just unfortunately rolled up desperate measures on the first month tick both times. That's just unfortunate luck. So citizen districts can go in here and court of laws as well. We're going to get the third court of law here in just a moment. There we go. And we can get a couple of academies in here. I did just notice that uh, it's been time to put a cut in for a while. I got kind of a little too invested in and wrapped up in this city construction. I don't know why. I find it extremely compelling for whatever reason. I just really like it. I have no explanation. But it is past time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue to work our way up over this way in city development. But we're also probably going to go to war with Gera very, very soon. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hero Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.